this is a line follow robot this is not just a normal one why we call it robust because every lab it's gonna map the data and correct it also this is a basically an application of f1 race track you might see the uh, the bot moves in uh, the path and there might be a path which is traveling and the, from second lap onwards it knows because there's a turn uh, it should take a more steeper path or more a uh, curvy turn so that can be achieved here with this data what we are doing and it's going to correct in every lap and with that uh, corrected map it's going to optimize its path and it's going to eventually win the race so now we are calibrating the robot it's getting the minimum value and the maximum value so we are get getting the black value what is the level of the black and we are getting the white level after calibration the robot started to following the uh, line we are using ir sensors to basically follow the line and we are using n20 motors to basic, uh, for the odometry part so in the first lap the uh, robot is actually following following the line and we are using odometry to basically track all the lines so as you can see in the graph uh, this is the motion of the uh, robot and in the head starting point a uh, robot is plotting all the path there is a on the plot which told us about the robot position and the line position and you can clearly see there was uh, some errors in the uh, robot positions and the line position we are trying to create an algorithm that uh, just going to reduce that error by uh, lapping again and again on the same map my plan for life is just to settle for a like good enough package and live the life peacefully but after coming here after going through various lectures and kaviaryas has talk uh, i was much more motivated to uh, start a startup here searching for problems to solve in this real world so that was a major motivation uh, i'm surely going to make a startup within completing my btech degree here we have to basically write a documentation or we have to write a research paper i created my projects but i don't know how to basically document it or create a research paper today kavi arya sir actually gave us a lecture on how we can create a research paper that was very helpful we everyone has our big ideas okay but we never try to implement it we always think our projects okay we can do like this or like this but we never actually do it the biggest benefit you are getting they actually going to push you to basically complete your project to build your project to build your dream project to innovate something for those people who always just think about doing but never do they actually can participate and they can learn this experience when i see the problem i don't know actually how to solve that problem i just look uh, in all the ways googles and everything but now when i came here i just learn how we can approach the problem and actually to solve it that was the biggest impact what i can see on myself so apart from this technical stuff i myself developed my social skills i was not so much uh, extroverted here before coming here but after coming here like looking to all the interns and how they were in interacting with me those things were really helpful in developing my uh, communication skills and max was the most hated subject by me uh, every time in my college semesters i just used to pass a subject but after coming here i see the like applications of max how it's being used in robotics how the transformations and those uh, frame references are using matrix multiplications those things are all hugely related or dependent upon max while seeing the application of it i'm liking the max now so just by learning we won't get that much of exposure to the technology stack we're doing but while doing it we'll get to know how it's working and how it's implemented how it's the application of it Yantra is a visionary for me. It aims the future India and we have to get tools of the students. It needs to develop it. That's what Yantra is aiming for. So that we'll have a better nation. As Kaviaria has told, when there is a missile, we have to aim at the, the trajectory of it, not the missile. If we're going to aim at the missile, then we're going to lose the shot. But when we aim the trajectory of the missile, we're going to hit the missile now. The same thing is uh, being done by Yantra. For me, Yantra is like an opportunity because it's not only basically teach you how to do things, but we basically meet people who are very much smarter than you and you can learn a lot from them how they do things and how they interact and how they came up with the solutions this is a very big opportunity so please don't miss it because that is very uh, awesome